Hi, resin artists. Today, I'm going to make a plywood palm tree cutout. I start by putting down paint, which I bought from Michaels. It's the Artist Loft using metallic blue and regular blue. I like to put down a layer of paint first just to make the colors more vibrant. The wood grain of the plywood would really show through in some spots and especially on the edges. So I like to lay down a layer of paint first and I'm always real careful to get the edges covered in paint as well. Otherwise, you have an unfinished look at the end. So I'm laying down the metallic blue on top, which is a real teal color, and the regular blue for the base of the tree. I let that dry for several hours before I start to put resin on it, just so I don't have any problems with the resin curing. All of these acrylic paints are a water base, and water and resin don't mix well, so you wanna make sure and let that paint dry really well. Overnight is the best, then you're sure. I do like the Artist Loft brand paint from Michaels and I have it in several colors. I'm going to be using Mermaid Trash Submarine Shop the Nerdy Birdie Caribbean and Mermaid Trash Lace White for my pigments and pastes today. I love the Mermaid Trash Lace White for waves and of course my trusty go-to Pro Glass 1000 UV Clear Coat Resin. Just a tip, when you pick up an amount of your mixed resin with the pigment powder and let it drip off your stick, that will tell you if the color is deep and rich enough that you want it, and if it's not, then you can always add more. I like to use my stick to drag the resin out to the edges. That gives me some control over how much drips over the edge you're always gonna have resin to fall over the edge and drip to some degree. I hate waste, especially with resin. We all do because resin is pricey. It's an expensive art medium, but don't we love it? So dragging with the stick allows me to have a some degree of control over how much drips over the edges. It also makes cleanup a lot easier. Once all the resin is laid out, I'm gonna hit it with the blowtorch to pop the bubbles. You never want to leave that fire hovering over the resin for more than a second. You want to keep that blowtorch moving constantly. And then I'm going to lay down my white lace. I'm going to hit it with the torch. 
just to heat it up so that it moves more nicely. And that creates some beautiful cells. Those cells will continue to form for about 10 to 15 minutes after you've given it that final torch. So you don't want to overheat it. After 24 hours, at least, I'm going to clean up the bubbles. I'm sorry, the drips. And what I do, you'll see me, I'm picking the piece up off of the towel to use the heat gun. That's because I will scorch or even burn the towel by repeatedly putting the heat gun on it. So I lift it up away from there every time when I'm heating it. And then I'm using a scraper tool to just scrape that resin off. That's one of three ways you can get drips off the back. You can put a latex on the back and let it dry before you start to pour your resin project. You can tape it, which I have other videos that show taping it before and getting the drips off after. Or you can do what I'm doing here and just let the drips be on the project and use your heat gun and a scraping tool to scrape them off. All work e equally well. Actually, there's a fourth method. You can um, use a sander and sand everything off. I just find that to be more work. Scraping or lifting with tape I think is an easier, faster way. Once I have all the drips off, I'm going to use a sanding block to sand down any rough edges that might still be there. I found a couple of spots that were a little sturdier, so I used a, a heavier sanding paper and then wipe off all the sawdust and make sure the piece is nice and clean. Then I'm going to put a layer of paint on the back just so that it's clean and uniform once the piece is finished. Once it's all painted and the paint has dried, I'm going to put a hanger on the back. This one is, a, this plywood is a little thin. So what I do is take a piece of rope and dip each end in resin and put it on so that there's just a little rope to hang the piece up when you're done. I got some beautiful cells on this one. I was very happy with the finished product. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.